हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ईशानी त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सेशन ऑलमोस्ट द लास्ट सेशन रिगार्डिंग द सब्जेक्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट एंड ऑटोमेशन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी नो दैट वी हैव बिन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजीज इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन सेक्टर Uh, we have talked about the virtual reality in the last session we also talked about the bim and augmented reality along with that because all of these three things uh, go together you can apply the bim as virtual reality also now today we are almost concluding your uh, session of the full subject this uh, is going to cover almost all of your uh, topics included at the last so the next which we have which we are going to discuss after the virtual reality is augmented reality now we are going to have a comparative study between what is the difference between virtual reality and the augmented reality the difference is not very much but the augmented reality is going to be performed it is going to give you an idea of the complete entire construction project or say complete entire work area or say for any kind of uh, activity or entertainment or say uh, any field in which you are applying so uh, mark the difference between the virtual reality which i showed you in the last session and the one over here so the virtual reality can be done specifically for objects for shapes for construction of design uh, of the bridges uh, for the small buildings as well now if i want to carry out the uh, virtual tour virtual reality for the full structure including the smallest details then the full idea the full imagination of your work can be done with the help of augmented reality nowadays the customers and clients demand uh, the 3d modeling of the area uh, more specifically this is helpful for the architecture uh, field as well because the architects uh, Uh, make up the 2d models first of all 2d models are created for the interior works and then it is converted to 3d models and you can uh, show it to the customers and the clients with the help of augmented reality this is going to give marketing a huge turn uh, they can attract more clients this way uh, a full tour can be given of the reality the changes can be mentioned in the starting phase itself uh, accuracy will be achieved and moreover the client satisfaction will also be obtained so because of all these factors nowadays augmented reality is used very much extensively in the construction and architecture field so here we can see ar is an interactive experience of a real world environment so in the virtual reality we are just converting the objects we are just go we were just making uh, people imagine that as if they are in the uh, virtual world they are experiencing the world so here we are making an interactive experience means it uh, you can explore it you can touch it you can talk with it so that is your augmented reality where the objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by computer generated perceptual information the existing systems right also not just the uh, pre systems but the existing systems can also be converted and made it into a computer generated perceptual information arb can be defined as the system which fulfills three basic features a combination of real and virtual worlds both things will be included real time interaction will be done and accurate 3d registration of virtual and real objects these three features combined it is different from the virtual reality but not very much so this things define what is your augmented reality next the overlaid sensory information can be either constructive or destructive meaning if it is if your ar is constructive meaning you are adding to the natural environment you are adding the features to the existing objects and it can be dis destructive meaning if you remove this particular object or area from the environment then it will be your destructive model 
this is how it can be done uh, you can have a plan or a, say area or a land in front of you and with the help of augmented reality you can completely convert it and show it to your clients that how it is going to look and uh, what will be your final end result now let us compare your uh, vr and ar both of them so virtual reality is fully artificial environment you are completely immersing the man or the human being into an artificial environment and making them believe that they are actually in it next we have the augmented reality is virtual objects overlaid on the real world environment so this virtual environment is laid on the real world environment it is shown to you that how it is going to appear once it is applied in the real environment the third which we have is mixed reality again this is a segment of augmented reality that is your mixed reality virtual environment combined with the real world this is just one of the sector of your augmented reality so uh, augmented reality alters one's ongoing perception of a real world environment whereas the virtual reality completely replaces the user's real world environment with a simulated one so augmented reality is near to the reality it is near to the what is going to come originally while the virtual is the one which you want the user to see augmented reality is related to two sections as i said uh, you can say it as mixed reality and you can say it as computer mediated reality as well so in the virtual reality full immersion in the virtual environment is done in the augmented reality the real world is enhanced with digital objects while in the mixed reality interact with both the real world and virtual environments i think you are able to understand now what is the difference between the virtual reality and augmented reality now next what are the benefits of augmented reality why not uh, using vr if you use ar then what will be the major benefits so efficient translation of architectural drawings so as i said the architectures are going to prepare they are going to propose the architectural drawings in two dimension so you can accurately convert this into augmented reality into three dimensional models making the client satisfactory work next superior design and development so with the help of the augmented reality you can carry out the uh, high performance design as well you can show it to your clients you can visualize it that how your design can be even more modified and made uh, even better next error reduction during construction now once you have the full process right in front of you that how it is going to be carried out how it is going to be calculated then the errors will be eliminated at first itself and hence error reduction at a major level better marketing of the construction projects i think uh, you will be able to uh, understand and explain this that why better marketing is done with the help of augmented reality which we discussed uh, number of times saving valuable man hours so instead of uh, making trial and error designs and then carrying out the rework so here the time we consume will be less and in no uh, in very much short matter of time you will be able to achieve the final design next easy review of project designs so once if you want to carry out the inspection and reviews before commencing the work even after commencing the work reviews can be done with the help of augmented reality now next the last thing the last concluding part of your syllabus or your uh, subject is the bim that is building information modeling now let us have a look at this picture over here this is going to explain you completely what is bim bim meaning if i want to say construct a project right if i want to construct a building then what will be the factors right you are going to carry out the 2d modeling you are get, going to carry out the 3d model 4d model 5d model apart from that we are going to have lots of construction activities to be involved we are going to have an outline or layout or a conceptual design then we are going to move to the detailed design then we will carry out the analysis work the structural analysis work then setting out the building skeleton then documentation process then comes your fabrication process the structural steel bars to be used the detailed drawing the structural drawings to be prepared then comes the construction uh, four dimension four uh, d that is four dimensional and five dimensional model you know what are those then we have the construction logistics meaning the equipment to be involved the technology to be involved operation and maintenance throughout your full work has to be done 
also if you are going to apply automation then for that uh, robotics and automation programming will come so all of these things together make your one building construction project now uh, if i want to make this in the form of a model uh, currently uh, this is being developed very much it has been becoming a trend in the market uh, there are also certain rules and regulations which are updated uh, right now in our country as well that uh, projects have to be performed under the BIM that is nothing but the usage of different software the CAD systems the Revit system and making a full fledged model of your structure so if I want to define it then building information modeling is a new and innovative technology which has emerged in the years makes it possible for the sustainable design of the structure so if I want to say that with the help of BIM if I am carrying out the work then I am going to have a sustainable design meaning it is going to keep in mind all the factors related to the work it is going to monitor everything it is going to keep an eye on on the progress as well all the uh, models the digitization models will be prepared and together your full construction activity will be run parallel with the help of BIM hence it is a very big tool right now and uh, much of it is used right now lots of research have been done um, regarding the same it is nothing but making the models of your full construction activities so if you want to define it as per the u.s national bim standard it is defined into three different types first building information model first it says it is a product second definition says it is a process third definition says it is a system as i said it is including everything you can either call it as a product you can call it process you can call it system so if it is a product then it is a structured data set if it is a process then it is act of creating and if it is a system then it is a business work and communication structure either of the three can define your building information modeling now next we are going to try to understand this a uh, little bit in more depth so here we have is it seeks to adapt to the availability of several layers of information allowing the new methods of data exchange and communication amongst the stakeholders in the project uh, i think you will be able to explain this now because we are carrying out the full interaction of the work and the project so between the stakeholders the communication gap will also be decreased uh, there will be a lot of interaction between them the data will be exchanged and all the layers right all the layers of the construction work will be included let us try to understand from over here we have the better data quality we have coordinated approach we have virtual simulation that is inclu inclusion of the vr and ar prefabrication then we have the virtual model no data loss we have collaborative design and no change orders meaning the budgeting work all of these things together is going to make it very much easy for the stakeholders as well so what are the different layers of the design we are talking about we have the structure landscape data heating cooling plumbing all the small details of your work see i am taking one more example over here that how you can carry out the BIM so here we have the different uh, models over here which are prepared with the use of computer aided design softwares uh, there are certain softwares right now which are uh, working on the same we have the CAD system AutoCAD we have Autodesk products uh, then we have the Revit products uh, which uses the same concepts we have architectural design visualization structures I think this picture is enough for you to understand that what all things are included under the BIM quantities and costing construction planning so all together this is just a process for sustainable design integrated project delivery can reduce the risk and duration of the project subsequently reduces the cost and improves the project quality that is our ultimate aim which we want to achieve so integrated design model would allow for structure analysis building performance analysis mechanical electrical plumbing material usage analysis gis survey works remote sensing everything will be included under under the bim all together all of these things is going to make my this structure which is present in front of me okay students so this concludes your syllabus all of the things are done almost uh, uh, every module is uh, conducted till now so all the best students have a good day thank you